Ladies and gentlemen, in the kitchen show, and your host, the No Shirt Comedian. Yeah, let's get cooking. Hey, how you guys doing today? This is the No Shirt Comedian, and I am your host. Thank you for tuning in to the What in the Kitchen show. And today, I'm going to be cooking up some stuff. Today, we're going to cook an omelet. I'm going to cook an omelet for those dudes out there that's single and dorms and stuff like that that don't know how to cook. So I'm going to show you how to cook an omelet. If you can't cook a damn omelet, you can't cook nothing. You ain't good for nothing. So I'm going to show you how to cook an omelet. And now as I'm cooking, you know, I might do a little singing and tell you a little bit about the current events that's going on in the world as I'm cooking. Because when you're cooking, you got to always keep yourself busy. You know what I'm saying, man? You got to be full of energy. So first of all, I got a pot here. And um, I got it. I'm going to put it on the skillet like that. And um, I put a little bit of uh, olive oil in there so you can uh, heat the um, pot up. You got to heat the pot up. Got a little bit of pepper. A little uh, cur curry seasoning, got a little bit of cheese here, okay, and we got the eggs. Of course, you can't make an omelet without eggs. You gotta have eggs. We got a sausage, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna cut those sauces up. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna cut these little sausages up, and I'm gonna cut them up real fine. And so what I'm gonna do when I cut the sausages up, of course you always try to eat one because you you know you're trying to buy, you know kind of hungry. You know, I heard some news that uh, uh, Trump, uh, he was messing around with RuPaul. Well, anyway, that's, that's a whole other thing. I don't believe that. So anyway, um, you need eggs, okay? So we got a couple of eggs. So I'm going to crack a couple of eggs, okay? That's one egg. Throw it in the trash, okay? Take a couple, of, two eggs, okay? I'm going to throw it in the trash, okay? So now I got... I got eggs and I got sausages. Mm -hmm. This is good already. Okay, then you put a little bit of pepper in there. Okay, put a little bit of pepper in there. Okay, if you want to, you can put your little bit of curry powder in there. Yeah, yeah, just give it a little dip, a little taste, and then you stir it all up. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, see, this pot is getting hot now. Uh huh. So you cut your pan on, so you're going to be setting off the smoke detectors in the house and everything. And, um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, um, one thing you need to do, fellas, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands. Always got to wash your hands. It's two things you do when you're in the kitchen. I don't know if your mother told you, but <coughs> it's two things you do when you're in the kitchen. You always wash your hands, and you never spit in the sink. Don't ever spit in the damn sink, okay? Those two things you don't do. Okay, we're going to get everything done. You know what, because, you know, men, just, I don't know why y'all don't wash your hands. You know, I see dudes in the restroom going in there doing the number two, sitting down, and, and walk out without washing their damn hands. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting tired of that. I see dudes going in restrooms and coming out quicker than I can Google nasty, goddammit. N-A-S-T-Y. Before I do that, bam, you're out. Wash your hands, you want out of mind. Okay, so now, all right, so now the pot is hot. So what you do, you got the bowl, you mix up the sausages, you mix up, mix up the eggs, you mix, mix up the, the, the ingredients. And so now, uh, yeah, okay, so I poured the ingredients in here, okay? So now you, you put that and you set that on the stove. And as that's cooking, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn into a, a omelet, okay? So we need a plate, okay? Let me get a plate. You got to have a plate to eat on, okay? So we got a plate, okay? And then we got the cheese. So now, while the omelet is in the pot cooking, you get your little bit of cheese and you sprinkle the cheese on top of the omelet. Okay? Once you do that, it's going to start melting naturally. Okay? Then you need this. This bad boy right here, a spatula. You've got to have a spatula so you can pick up the omelet and turn it over. Don't try to use your hands, fool. Just turn it over. Yeah, okay. So anyway, they got some stuff going on in the world, man. This, this world is crazy, man. I don't know what's going on. So, so, so we got all this stuff going on. You got the turkey sausages and everything. If you want to, you can shop wherever you want to. Walmart, Target, Kroger's, Tom Thumb. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you buy real food, okay? Now, if you want to, you can throw some onions in there, but I'm not going to throw no onions in there right there because I don't want my breath to be bad right now while you guys are listening to me and then smelling it. 
That don't make no sense. You can't smell my breath when you look. Okay, anyway, so we're going to get on. <clears throat> so we're going to do this if you want to. Okay, now it's starting to get. Uh, yeah. When it starts getting hard, you flip it. You flip it. Yeah, you flip the omelet. And so it can cook on that side. This is going to be good. I can't wait till I finish this because I'm going to tear this omelet up. So if you're single and you got a girl or she get mad at you and she don't want to cook and all that kind of stuff, but man, go in the kitchen, get you, make you an omelet like I just taught you and wash your hands. Okay, we're going to do that. And so, um, oh yeah, make sure you wash your hands because, uh, especially if you got kids. I see, I see, I see the, me and the kids, we can see the jelly jar, but where is the peanut butter coming from? Wash your hands, you nasty monster. Wash your hands. We can see the jelly jar, but where's the peanut butter coming from? From your nasty hand that you didn't wash. This is the in the house kitchen. Uh -huh, uh, this is in the kitchen. Uh -huh, uh, we got stuff going on in the kitchen. Let me calm down a little bit. I'm so excited because I can't wait. I haven't ate all day. Okay, so now we turn the omelet over. Oh my God, this is looking good. One thing you need to do too, as you're cooking, you want to start putting stuff back up. Start putting stuff back up and get you a, a, a rag and start cleaning the kitchen and start cleaning as you go. Throw away your trash and, and, and start cleaning as you go. That's what it's all about, man. You got to be neat. Um, we got all kind of stuff going on in this world, like I said, you know. Um, we got the impeachment um, thing going on and everything, but forget about that because I'm a, a Dallas Cowboy fan and I want, I want to talk to you about that. You know what, Jerry Jones, pay the dues, man. I mean, stop playing again. <coughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Ah. Before I start giving it to somebody. Okay, then you want to cut the fire off and so, and then you want to, you want to put that in the sink. Then you want to get some water. Uh -huh. And then you, you hear that, that damn pan is hot. Put some water on there. Yeah, yeah, put some water on there. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so what else we want to do? Uh, so, oh my God, this omelet looks good. This omelet looks good. Look at this. You could do that. You did that, dog. You did that. You don't need no woman to cook for you. So anyway, Jerry Jones, I've been telling people, man, okay, everybody's talking about get rid of Jason Gary. Yeah, we should have gotten rid of him a long time ago. But you got to use Zeke. Zeke is the key. Don't stop running Zeke right up the middle, man. How would you like to just run into a brick wall? That's not what he's getting paid for. Throw him on the outside. Slam him super on the outside. Let him go out as a receiver and pass it to him. Once Zeke gets to go, man, everything else is going to open up. Man, we got the talent. Let me be the coach. Pay me $100,000 a year. I'll do it. Sit Jason out, uh, Garrett's that butt down. But you know what I'm saying? And so it's all about starting with Zeke, man. We got the team. It's just the play call. I remember Tom Landry, man, we used to do these reverses and these sweeps and all this kind of stuff, and trick plays. And look at, look at, look at Lamar Jackson, man. You know, he, 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 huh, 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 huh. you don't know if he got the ball or not. Dude, dude, you don't know if he got the ball or not. And then you're thinking, bam, try some trick play, damn it. Try some, and then you're on the sideline, uh, you know, stuff happening, you just, he just look, he just look, just look. get mad. If I was the coach, God damn it, you can't tackle, sit your butt down. Get over here. You can't do that, sit your butt down. Now get some water and pour it on that motherfucker. Kick him in. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you, you got to get upset, man. Okay, anyway, back to this armor. Okay, so you got this beautiful armor. Okay, and so check it out. You put it on the plane and get your, look at that. You did that, dog. You did that. Yeah. And so, uh, when you're in the kitchen sometimes and you get kind of bored, and then you just want to be, reasons, the reasons that I'm here, because I don't have nobody to cook for me. You know, just whatever you got to do, but just keep yourself busy and everything, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and so we got all this stuff going on in the world, man. This lady left her, her she, she left her baby in a stroke, right? Okay, with the suitcase right there, went to the bathroom. And then she goes through security, okay, goes through security, gets, goes down the ramp, gets on the plane, sits in the seat in the plane, and the plane takes off, right? Okay, so in midair, she realizes she left the baby. She notifies the flight crew and they have to turn around, come back to the airport, land, so she can get her baby. 
She need to get her ass put in jail. Put her ass in jail. You don't need no baby. You don't have a baby anyway. You flying without a baby. You don't need a baby. Take the baby. I mean, all kind of crazy stuff going on in this world, man. It's crazy. So anyway, um, let, me, let, me, let me taste this omelet. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It tastes like this omelet has been cooked in the kitchen. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. There's two things that you don't want to do. There's two things, if you ever in the kitchen, there's two things you don't ever want to do is a disaster. Don't ever mix these two things together. Don't ever mix peanut butter and cheese together. If you ever eat peanut butter and cheese mixed together, your ass will be clogged up. I'm just telling you. Straight up, your butt will be clogged up. And then when you get on the toilet, guess what? I'm going to have to dial 911 because now we got weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass goddamn destruction. When you sit on the toilet, your ass will not be able to shit. Whoever admits peanut butter and cheese. The no sir comedian told you. Right here in the house kitchen. Okay. Mm, let me get another bite of this. This omelet is so good. Mmm. I take pride in mm, teaching you guys how to cook an omelet. You never have to wait for a woman ever again to cook nothing for you. Mm, mm. You guys enjoying the stuff? Okay. There's all kinds of stuff going on as well. Mm, mm. Never talk with food about it. But this is so damn good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So if you if you if you if you a man, this is just a backup plan. When you go into 2020 and you're thinking about dating or getting into a marriage, make sure you get a woman that know how to cook. Because if she ever go down in the hospital or something or something's wrong or she can't cook. You can always resort back to your army that the no shirt comedian talked you how to marry. But don't straight out marry no woman that don't know how to cook, don't want to cook, don't even want to try to cook. You, you lazy one eyed monster. Mm. Anyway, I'm so excited because I had a dream of being here with you guys today in the kitchen. And so, um, Okay, so yeah, you want to put stuff up. You want to start putting stuff up when you when you cook. Don't just leave everything all over the place. Because if you go to bed with the dishes in the sink, my mother used to, man, we couldn't go to bed with the dishes in the sink. One night, one o'clock in the morning, man, me and my sister would sleep sound as cold, just under the blankets, sleeping like that. Next thing you know, blankets came off and belt was flying. My mother was tearing our butt up. And to this day, I cannot lay down and go to sleep knowing that there's dishes in the sink. You better get your butt up and wash them damn dishes. So if you got to cook, you got to clean up the kitchen, dog. Because if you don't, don't tell them that the no-shirt comedian taught you like this. I didn't teach you like that. I taught you how to cook an omelet and clean the damn kitchen up. And don't mix peanut butter and cheese together. Your ass will blow up. Anyway, <clears throat> um, okay, so... This is episode one of In the Kitchen. I want you guys to stay tuned for episode two. I got some more stuff coming. Episode two. Yeah, we got all kinds of stories. I used to be a bodyguard for, for uh, Little Richard. Uh, man, there's something else. I used to be a police officer for LAPD also. So, you know, that's why I get a lot of my bodyguard experience from. But anyway, we used to roll all the time. Me and Little Richard in the limousine, man. And we would pull in to McDonald's drive through in the limousine to pick up a McRib sandwich. You talking about, hmm. He used to love him some McRib sandwiches at McDonald's. Can you imagine that? Pulling up in the limousine, McDonald's, and order a McRib. Little Richard, he's something else. He don't live in the house. He hasn't lived in the house for years. He don't want to live in the house since his mother died now. Anyway. <coughs> 
get you something to drink to. So I love you guys tuning into the show. This is my first show. I'm going to be doing more episodes. I'm going to try to do one episode a week. So you guys tune in every week and try to check me out on this uh, episode. Um, I, I got to get surgery on my shoulder, so um, I'm going to be uh, pre-taping some of these episodes. And so while I'm down, you guys can be checking out these episodes. That's why it's so urgent and I'm so full of energy. I want to get at least five episodes in before I have surgery so I can just sit back and watch myself also. <laughs> I got a couple of projects coming up in 2020. I got a DVD I'm working on titled Smoking Without the Smoke. Oh my God. Smoking Without the Smoke. I'm going to be talking about people that smoke. After they watch that DVD, I want them to feel so damn stupid that they just stop smoking. You could be cool. You know what I'm saying? Get you a cigar. You know, you know how you got a watch or a ring for accessories. Well, what you could do is go out and get your cigar, and when you and your lady step out on the town, man, you got your cigar, and you're looking cool. Most people that started smoking started smoking because they thought it was a cool thing. Well, it still could be a cool thing. All you got to do is just hold your cigar and be cool, but never light it. You feel me? Smoking without the smoke. And then my other um, project coming out, I want to do an all-comedy show for all women, for women only. I want to do a comedy show for women only. That's right. I want to let women know uh, what's going on and how to deal with these dudes out here in a funny kind of way. Uh, I'll have two uh, comedians coming up, and uh, that'll be a surprise. Anyway, oh my God, these projects and, and, and my play. I, before 2020 is over, I want to bring my stage play, A Rose and Two Chocolate Nuts. That's what I want to do, A Rose and Two Chocolate Nuts. And it's all about... Uh, these three comedians. You got two bald-headed black brothers <clears throat> and a black sister. That's comedians. The thing about it is they all lost their jobs in the same month. So they pull together and say, hey, why don't we write every other day and put together a show so we can do our own comedy show? And we like, hey, that's cool. But every time we get ready to rehearse, Tom Tom, the female, and the no shirt comedian, and Sugar Daddy, yeah, Sugar Daddy. And these are all the three comedians. So every time something we get ready to rehearse, she comes in with a black eye or a broken arm or limping or crutches and something. We're like, what's going on? Hold up. We cannot do anything else until we find out what's going on with you. We said, you're too beautiful for that. And so come to find out she was being uh, abused by her husband. She's a black girl and she was being abused by her husband, who's a white man. Yeah. Mixed marriages can have, you know, abusive relationships also. So we tried to convince her that she's a beautiful, she's really, she's beautiful, she's a rose. And she's like, oh my God, you guys ain't nothing but two chocolate nuts. Okay, a rose and two chocolate nuts. That's how I came up with the stage play. A rose and two chocolate nuts. You perverted people out there thought it was something sexy or sexual, didn't you? You go back to being a Christian. Anyway, those are my projects I share with you guys, and um, I want you to tune into the next episode, episode two, uh, in the kitchen. Um, so <clears throat> I'm getting ready to get out of here so I can eat my omelet, and um, now you guys know how to fix you an omelet. You don't have to depend on the woman. I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I love you guys all. The no shirt comedian is in the house. I don't care if you're hurt, sick, or whatever. Pursue your dream. Don't let nothing stop you because I ain't gonna let nothing stop me. I'll talk to you guys later. This is the No Shirt Comedian. Hey, yes. Never thought I'd find someone to blow my mind, girl. Like you, yeah. If I. Someone that I can reach out and touch Your smiling face that means so much Girl, you'll be the one I need when things go wrong I'm gonna need your strength to keep me strong Whoa, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care
what you do. It's going to take the rest of my life taking care of you. Ooh, babe. I'll talk to you guys later. That was Barry White.